Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, in the last episode we uh, met up with Tulin, we got up to Rito Village and we got through a cave uh, with a lot of thorns. Uh, and now in today's episode we are going to try and find Tulin but I'm not sure where he is so um, I guess... Uh, yeah, not really sure, honestly. Guess I'll just deal with this guy first. Um, yeah, we can do bomb. And then a muddle buddy. Now he should be attacking his own people now. Oh. Yeah. That works. Ton of loot has fallen down, but feathered spear. That's cool. Ah, uh, wait, how did I get gloom? What gloom enemy was there? Where is Tulin? Where am I supposed to be? Summit Cave. I was just there. Where? I don't get it. I was right there. Oh, I suppose I didn't actually talk to her though, that's the problem. Yeah. Huh? I'm looking for Tulin. Looking for Tulin now, oh, fair enough. His father in this cave. Oh, come on. Great. I don't get it, where else did I need to go?
burn. So he's not here. Then where else could he be? Oh. Oh, mini-talluses. Okay, alright. That too, Lin. What are we gonna do with that boy? Just like him to fly off in his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh! Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce fruit wizard? You need to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but he just saw a flock of monsters fly outside past the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest, and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head south, you spot a lone cedar tree on Toronto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. Okay, a lone tree. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Okay, a lone tree. Alright. Alright. A lone tree, where? Oh. No! Um... Swallow bow. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Okay, where is this lone tree? Oh, there it is. Oh. Where's the muddle bud? Oh, come on, surely I had multiple. Oh. No. Oh. Dazzle fruit. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. an idiot. Okay, I need to use, clearly need to use stronger weapons. Or, I guess they're just not here in general. Okay. Oh, 
there's some guy frozen in here. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh. All right. Wait, is he holding an icicle? His weapon has an icicle fused to it. All right. I want to see this. Oh, frozen to on fire. Wow, so you can have icicles as weapons. That's cool. Alright. Hmm. Now, is Toolins still up here, or am I going to have to fetch him from somewhere else? Oh, hello. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. What, Link? Where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, the rotten monster took my good bow. See, that bow napper. Well, key cyborg should fix that. Gotta get it back. Help me out, Link? Sure. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too, that way you can glide over to where that monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Cool. Wait, I can- Whoa! Alright, um... There we go. <laughs> yeah! There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. More of them. There's more of them! I mean, I can just blow them off the edge, but alright. Alright, they're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Uh, all right. Hmm. Done. We did it. Hey look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh, it's happening to Tulin now, he's gonna be a sage. Hmm, what was that, the wind? Couldn't have been, there's no way, it must have been something else. Hey, Tulin, Link! Huh? Oh, it's the Torito people. Oh! It was some impressive teamwork, you two. Oh, you saw that half? Huh? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Kesan tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it, but I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. I bet you now see why they're treating you like a small chick. Yeah, but you're right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get that when Dad was trying to tell me this whole time. Is that all there is to the story? Seems unlike you to get let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Tulin. Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared to. 
Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I went to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing a stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will, or well, except for Rivali. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teva. Dad said that? Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time for you to go to Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. No problem, the two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Uh, I guess the Rito are like the main people that would be able to visit the Sky Islands. So I guess that's why they're not really shocked about it. <sighs> Alright. Uh, oh, great. You can use his ability. Alright. Gonna be a ton of climbing. <laughs> uh, why couldn't Tulin have Rivali's ability? Why does it have to be Rivali's Gale but horizontal? <laughs> hmm. Guessing the zone eye will immediately start to destroy the Bokoblins, so let's help them with that. <laughs> and then we'll pick the rest off. Oh, oh god, the the Zonai are losing. Sorry, the Constructs are losing. Oh. Wow. The Constructs were way out of their league. <laughs> wow. Alright. But I get to pick up all their loot. Flame emit a shield. Hmm. No, Tulin! My loot! Feathered edge. Uh, no, I don't need that. Actually, I can get rid of this. Goblin guts. Ugh. Though they're good to give to Kilton for a ton of monster points. I think that's what they're called, monster points. Ah. Oh. No, I 
can't even reach that. Oh. I suppose I can just... Peace I wall. Take the Aracuda stuff, thank you. God, this place is hard to climb. God, I got all the stamina upgrades before I came here. Hello. If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh. Why, if it isn't too late and I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. Hello, Huck. But if you come here, that means... Yep, they said I could go up here. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone had admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Maybe the only Rito capable of rising above the cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. And come here, watching. I'll be here watching for your return. Mm -hmm. Thanks, between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a shrine all the way up there. There we go. Hmm. Which way? Yeah, over here works. Wow, it's a ship. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda, but now I don't know where he, she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? Yeah, I, like I said, it's a ship. But... Whoa. So weird. Hey, wait for me. Look at that. It's a boat. Huh? Come. Oh wow, there are a ton of ships. Whose voice was that? It's coming from somewhere up there. Whoa! Oh, it's a giant ship! Whoa, do you see that thing inside the cloud? This is another boat? It's huge! Whoa! There's tons of those little flying boats too. You know what it reminds me of? 
A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward, the god ascended to heaven, leading behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Was that children's song true after all? You had that strange voice too, right? Link, I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. It's like it's calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that could lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. I was trying to, to win, but you stopped me. Hmm. Whoa, whoa! Did not expect that. Wonder if there's another flux construct here. May you all make a shrine. May you make a shrine. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> Downward force. Downward force. Huh? I don't have a downward force. Huh? I don't get it. Okay, alright, that makes sense. Oh, I'm such an idiot. And there's the boats here too. Huh. <laughs> uh, I should probably get close. Goodbye. Wow, I really like these things. There we go. Light of blessing. Ah, only one more and then I'll maybe be able to fill out my stamina meter. this 
anything here. Oh. Yay! Still got so much higher to go up. Yeah, the Gloom Sword is not a good trade-off. Yes! Side in. No, too late. Uh, I think this is going to be a problem. Uh, I've already got two of them. Wow, so you can just break through ice with impact. Oh, there's another flux construct. I know how to deal with these guys now. No, Tulin. Well, now I won't instantly die at least. Yes, thank you, Sidon. Oh. 
<laughs> Instantly. What's here? An old map. Oh. Wow, another one for the deaths. Time bomb? Uh, I'm cooling. Alright, what can I fuse? Now it's 51. <laughs> wow, that is definitely my strongest weapon yet. Alright. I should probably heal up. Is there a chest or something that's protecting? Like the last time? Like a Sage's Will or whatever it's called? I still don't know what those are for, by the way. Oh, I have to get back up there. Nope. I think I may have just made a mistake. Oh, I was right there. Oh, no, no, I haven't. I could just ascend through that pillar. Now, where to from here? Oh. Leave it to me. Just rising and rising. While I'm here, I think I'll just leave uh, this as the end of the episode. Um, well, bye!